This month, there's a lot of information coming our way. Expect to unveil and discover all sorts of secrets. Also, you're very much a psychic detective. You can reach into a situation and see the truth. There's a new supermoon in Scorpio bringing out an intense new cycle. And also, there's going to be an eclipse, which is waking us up to a brand new sense of security. Here's your monthly astrology. Hey Taurus, this month is really, well, interesting and potentially fabulous for relationships, but it's all about honesty and relationships and balance. So there will be transformations and that's from the get-go as we have a new super moon in Scorpio, in your relationship zone, in your inner harmony zone. So what is real and what is true about your intimate relationships, friendships and one-to-one connections will come out in that new super moon. Also, if there's something that you want to let go of or surrender in terms of your relationships, that is the moon to do it on November the 4th. Venus is then shifting signs on the 5th and making you feel that you want adventure and you want to explore. And this is not just to do with your love relationships, but also to do with you creating abundance and drawing security towards you. You want adventure to be involved. You don't want to play it safe at the moment, Taurus, which are actually very unlike you, but fabulous. And um, Mercury is also going into your relationship zone and then joining forces on the 10th with Mars. Be careful on that day. Well, on the one hand, you'll be fighting for all the people that you love. You'll also be kind of very passionate about what you're saying on that day, but careful that that doesn't tip into anger. Now, Mercury is opposing Uranus on the 13th, And you may be thinking, who am I in relation to other people? What is my identity and how do I express myself when I'm on my own, as opposed to when I'm with a friend, as opposed to when I'm with a lover, as opposed to when I'm at work? Who am I in all this? You might go through some existential crisis. But on the other hand, there's something surprising, some surprising information coming in to help you balance who you are and and being true to yourself in all of your relationships and your interactions with others. Now, of course, the big news for you this month is there's a full moon in Taurus and it's a partial lunar eclipse. So again, on the day, you might not be sure what's going on because lunar eclipses reveal the information after. But at some point before the end of the month, there will be some kind of like suddenly everything look is clear. You'll see something that was previously hidden. And again, it might be about your identity. You might really want to make some changes to truly come into yourself And other people may find you a little bit erratic, a little bit not as steady as you normally are, particularly when Venus trines Uranus, the planet of the unpredictable. Venus, again, is in your adventure zone and Uranus, of course, is in your sign. So you're you're having exciting times and there's exciting information coming in and opportunities of adventure that you weren't expecting at the beginning of the month. So when the sun enters Sagittarius, it's a whole different vibe for you. And it's all about your primal emotions and your power. It offers you the opportunity to come into your power, but you may be dealing with hidden emotions that come to the surface. Feeling to do with power and powerlessness, life, death, rebirth, sex, obsession, all those intense kind of feelings. And Mercury is also going there. So you're very much a psychic detective. You're delving into the minds of other people. And also you're diving deep within yourself and you're thinking about maybe secrets that you've had, maybe things that you've been hiding. Perhaps you're talking to other people who you feel have been hiding things, but you sense and you see the truth. And that vibe is going on for the rest of the month. And you're feeling hopefully empowered enough to deal with things. And you're heading towards wanting to create your own reality, your own sense of structure based on people that you can trust. Take care, gorgeous, and I'll speak to you soon. Don't forget to come visit me on Instagram at Michelle Knight, Michelle with one L, and on Facebook where I do lots of lives and you may even get a live tarot reading from me individually, Michelle Knight Astrologer. And of course, my website, michelleknight.com, if you want a reading with one of my fabulous psychics. So much love to you.